Hello everybody! As always, this is Cthulhu2, and welcome to a quick little tutorial video. Um, a number of people that are subscribed to my gaming channel have channels of their own, and I figured it would be helpful to give out a few of the tips that I've come across um, as I kind of teach myself how to record videos and edit them. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm using Vegas Pro 12. I'm not exactly sure if the things I'm going to show you are going to relate to other versions of Vegas, and probably not to other editing programs, but I feel like this Vegas 12 is something that's very widely used as far as YouTubers are concerned, so hopefully this will be helpful to you if you happen to find this video. So the quick thing I want to talk about today is batch rendering. Now this is something that I didn't even think of when I first started editing videos and rendering them, and then after finding out about it, it has made my life so much easier. So basically, once you have your footage you know, all edited up and stuff like that, say you have maybe an hour or so of footage that you recorded at one time, and you want to make that into separate episodes. Well, what you can do, I mean, you can just take something, you split it out, and then you know, I would usually just separate it myself in the timeline here so I can see that they're kind of separate videos. And one thing you can do is you can, you know, you can select them like this and you have your, your start and your end point and you can tell it to just render the selection. But if you want to, you can have however many of these sections as you want. You can create your selection like this and if you hit R, you can rename that selection. So I'll say like this is episode one, something like that. And then I could do the same type of thing over here select that, hit R, and then type in episode 2 and hit enter. So now I have these two selections set, and you can see they have the little flags to say which one, where they start and where they end. And I've, I've had it in the past where I've got maybe six or seven of these all in the same timeline, all sectioned off like this. Now this is where the great thing comes in, because instead of doing these, rendering these one by one, you can set up to render them all in a batch and you can have hours of footage rendering overnight, and it won't, you know, hog up your system resources. You obviously won't be trying to do anything else while they're going on. The, uh, the program can just do your work for you as you snooze, which is something I love to do. So, in order to get this set up, all you have to do is go up to Tools, down here to Scripting, and then you see Batch Render here. You just choose that, and then up here as the base file name, you just set the directory that you would like these rendered videos to be saved to, and it will give them generic names like 0, 1, 2, 3, depending on how many different sections you have set up to be rendered. And then you make sure you choose Render Regions, and that will choose each specific region that you've set down here, so I have two regions that will be rendered out. And then you can just choose from your list of file types to, uh, to render as. So I have one set up here that I use for YouTube. And then as soon as you hit OK, it'll start rendering. It'll render this out for you, and then save that off as a file, and then it'll render episode 2 out for you and save that, that off as a file. So for me, this is a huge time saver. Like I said, I can have a bunch of stuff rendering overnight, and it'll all be chunked into separate episodes depending on how I set it. So hopefully this will be useful for you guys. I think it should be. <laughs> you should at least try it out if it seems at all interesting to you. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to do this or why or whatever. So hopefully this has been an educational little video. I'll have a few more of these coming out for other tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.